Good morning, welcome to Table Talk. I am Sandy and with me today is Anna. Thank you, Anna, for being here. Um, and we have a few things to talk about, but before we get started, Emerald wanted to share some comments that we got on one of our videos. Yes. And then you wanna I'm come back here, here, Emerald? Do you wanna sit down or? I will. I can share my chair with you here. <laughs> sit here with you. So it's Diana Cru Caruso. Um, she shared really uh, useful tips about foundation paper piecing. So you will have to go and read it. Um, there are people who have, have read it and then commented it's really helpful for her already. So they'll go to the table talk that's about foundation paper, paper piecing? Yeah. And then they can read the comments. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then um, there's somebody who commented that old credit card is really handy too. Like if you don't want to invest yet, if you're not sure if you like foundation paper piecing yet. Is that used for folding? Mm -hmm. okay. For folding. Gotcha. And like I use postcards. Mm -hmm. and then I don't know. Mm -hmm. So okay. yeah. And I use the little the add a quarter ruler. plus ruler. Yeah. yeah. No. So yeah. Okay. go back and read some other comments. Awesome. Thank you for commenting. So Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. Um, should we talk about just what we've been working on? Sure. First. <laughs> and then we'll talk about a few new things. Yeah. Okay. What have you been working on? So we Bag lady. built those um, <laughs> bench pillow kits. <laughs> yes. And so I finished well, it's not completed, but it's pieced. Awesome. The top of the pillow, it's pieced. And if you don't have a bench pillow or the way to display it as a pillow, those totally can be like uh, table runners. Yeah. You don't have to complete it as a pillow. Hello. Yeah, we've it's... got Shelly's hanging on the wall as like a table runner because we haven't put the form yeah. in it. But she made it so that on the back, in the back it opens, she can put the pillow yeah, form in. Yeah, if she in, wants to, but you Or if she wants to. to have it a table runner, she yeah. could use it as that. But that was pretty fun to make, and the directions were actually pretty good. Good. And with the pictures, if you don't like reading the directions, you can totally do it by the pictures. Yeah, yeah. So it's a pretty fun one, but Cute. yeah. Hopefully I'll get it done by next week. Oh, you will. So, I yeah. know you. <laughs> I there just was... need to schedule quilting day. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> there was another project Anna just brought into the yes. shop that, that I is... love. It's called the Hudson bag and it could be made as a cooler or just a regular bag depending on the insulation you use. And we're not going to use it as a core we're using it as a project bag that it can store those plastic beans that you can oh yeah you can do it that way, way and then they oh and then you can just then pull, you can just pull yeah. out the ones you want that's yeah. what i have at home i have like i don't have this cool bag which i need to get but i do yeah. have a thing that i keep them in and i have on the end what the thing? numbers you know so you between can here see. and here and here so i can know which one to pull yeah. out yeah so, I don't know, that's what I made. It awesome. was fun make. I needed more practice on the zipper attachment, but that's um, awesome. operator error, I guess. <laughs> I was not as patient, but I love putting the body together. It was so fun doing a step-by-step -step and creating the pockets and it, it just, and she also, has a video oh does she that, yeah it said that you can purchase it and uh -huh. when i went to check it was free at the time okay. i don't know it's still free or yeah. not but you know awesome. if you're a more visual person she has a video that and you can purchase person. oh and it's yeah. got a pocket on yeah. the top oh so yeah it has a slip pocket on the front and on in the back. the back and then it has side those pockets. pockets on the side and, and a pocket on the top. Yep, and a pocket on the top. So awesome. Yeah. That that was, was, so and the pattern you felt was a well written pattern? Yeah, the Sally pattern tomato, was I good. Yeah. It, the only one complaint I have, you know how most patterns have like a picture with the layout how to cut it? She did not have that. Mm, yeah. And I was actually kinda short on the fusible for it. Uh -huh. But luckily, but where, made it work. where I was, there was a Joanne's. So, <laughs> <laughs> did you did that on your retreat? Yes, right? I did that at my retreat. So, yep. But so it, it's still like you know, if it's I won't recommend it if it's your first bag just because of the zipper. Everything else was easy, and anyone can do it. 
but they're blowing our sidewalks outside. Yeah. It's quite noisy right this moment, but I think he's just walked past. So. But yeah, this time the zipper, you know, usually I say, yeah, go for it. Zippers are easy and stuff. This one, you need a bit more practice for it. It's a little it. more challenging. Yeah. So yeah. maybe you put the body together and give it to a friend or yeah. I don't know. And that you used the rifle paper um, canvas fabric, yes. right? Yeah. Yep. Which was, I don't know, it... So it's, it's a little bit heavier fabric, but it's so cute. Yeah, and, and this is directional, and uh -huh. that's why it would have been helpful. But, okay, a tip for that, I cut my fusible first, mm -hmm. uh -huh. and, you know, labeled my fusibles, and then I laid it on my main fabric, oh. so I can see which direction I want them to go. Oh, that was smart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so use those because kind of... I was not quite like, okay, I don't know what this piece, how it's going to end up mm -hmm. going and stuff. Right. But, so once I cut them from my fusible, I was able to lay them down the way I wanted to, and this way I followed the direction. Yeah. Yep. Oh, it's cute. Very cute. Yeah. But yeah, that's for me. Okay, so <laughs> I've been working on, so I have decided I just wasn't getting as much of my old projects done as I wanted to. And I was, so after work, when I go home, I usually will work on my computer. Yeah. At night, I'm doing paperwork, you know, for the store, ordering checking inventory all the kind of computer stuff that i do and then i'm ready to just chill and i'll sit on my phone and play yeah a game for you know and i'm just not getting those little projects that i want to get done so i've decided that i'm going to stitch every night i go up and sit with my mom and i'm like instead of just sitting on my phone yeah wasting my time <laughs> i'm going to actually stitch every night so i've been able to do that so this is one thing I'm working on. So Riley Blake has a new fabric collection um, of Jane Austen prints for Pride and Pre called Pride and Prejudice that's coming out. And I designed um, a series of patterns. This one is called Piano Forte. Um, and this is part of a fabric collection uh, for Riley Blake. So this print, this cross stitch is part of a fabric print that's being released then as well that I designed. So um, there's four different cross stitches. This is Piano Forte, um, and this is the, and it has a little quote from um, the book, Pride and Prejudice. And so this is what I've got to hurry and get it stitched. So this is just a mock-up on my pattern. And so I've just started working on the stitching. So cool. I am using hand dyed threads, a few DMC, um, but mostly hand dyed threads. And on this, I love this linen. I know, so yeah. pretty. Has that, you know, very, hand dyed look. Yeah. And so that was one thing I've been working on. So. And another thing is, you know, I've showed before that I'm doing the quilt, the story of my day. Um, so I thought I'd share kind of what I did. So I took my pattern apart because it's, oh, it's a book. It's a book. And I put it in a binder. Um, because this is going to take a project that's going to take me a while. So there's the front of my pattern. The back is on there. And then I have my pages in sheet protectors because there's lots of pages involved in this quilt. Yeah, but you can also and, like just take a page and out. And I'll just take a page out that has whatever I'm, you know, stitching on. So that's how I organize that. Um, and then I have, and I've shown before, my strips of fabric that are used for it. These are my um, low volumes, and then these are my color fabrics um, and the different inches that I use. Because now it's time, I'll show you. I've got my designs traced, and now I need to sew my block because I sew my block before I do the embroidery. Oh, so you have so more to So now I take it. this and it'll tell me I need a one and a quarter by six or one, you know, and so I just take these and create my block. So that's my next thing to do because last night I finished up my most recent block and it says try and oh you know what I didn't do the e oh good thing oh. I saw that <laughs> so this is the block that I just finished it says try a new cute. hairstyle and it says e <laughs> your color is very different from the designer's color right I am using the same floss colors that she used but like the borders but, but in she just used a white oh. for all these light pieces here uh -huh. She just used white, and I'm using just a whole bunch of different low volumes. Low volumes. So I'll show you some of those Very blocks cool. that I've got done. 
And the reason I am doing my embroidery after I've completed my block is because I am using a uh, lawn fabric and it is very lightweight. Oh, so you and so I'm sewing my block and then I'm putting the shape flex on the back of my block just to give it body and to help because those fabrics are so lightweight. Mm -hmm. And then I probably will not put batting in this when I quilt it. Oh, okay. Because it's gonna every block's gonna have this shape flex, but I'll, I'll just see. I might put just a a thin layer of but, um, and probably it won't be a quilt to cuddle to watch right, a movie right. with. No. It's gonna be displayed. So, but you can see how I just use just low volumes instead of the white. I just think it gave some variety. Um, you just you have quite a bit. So done. I have quite a few of them done. I just love her. It's, I just love her patch and patch so Annie Downs. I just think she's so fun. Um, so I've had fun doing the stitching, but I've got a lot done, but I have a lot still to, to do. <laughs> you know, these are the ones that I still have to do. Make yeah, the blocks. It looks like you're halfway. But yeah, I think I'm, I'm probably about halfway. Yeah. Um, but I had set this aside, hadn't worked on it for a long time, and now that's going to be one of my night projects that I work on with my mom. That's so. what this year I kind of want to like do projects that I've been having waiting there uh -huh. like for a while and I want to start completing them so yeah. to clear room for new ones. Me too. <laughs> Me too. And, and I just love this but it's not a quick one but I, no. I really want to finish it. Um, and so I thought that's a fun thing to do at night and I've got to put this back in my bag because it isn't complete because I didn't stitch the E. The e. <laughs> um, <laughs> Anyway, so that is my two projects that I worked on this week. Well done. Plus, you know, Thanks. not fun projects. Yeah. Fun projects as well. So, to do lists. Yeah. So time to get my next block put together so that I can do the handwork. So I may work on that today so that tonight. Yeah. I'm alternating between the cross stitch design and, and this. So one night I do cross stitch, one night I do embroidery. But um, my other three charts i'm probably going to have pat do the stitching for me okay but on this one i'm tweaking the colors while i'm doing it and it's hard for, you know you design it and i select the colors but then sometimes they, as you get stitching you're like oh, that just doesn't it's not like yeah that. It, it translates different yeah. than the paper mm -hmm. and the fabric and, and so i hate to hand it to pat and then go oh i wish i'd have used a different color there yeah um so one, they're all going to be in the same color palette. So I feel like once I get this one done, the other three companion ones. So there's one called Piano Forte, um, one called Austin, um, Pemberley, and Netherfield. So those are the they're four designs. Cute, that I, so are they all seen about some, the same size? Finish? They are all the same size. Yeah, they're all 125 by 125 stitches. So depending on what count fabric you use, you know, they'll all be the same size. They're square. Mm -hmm. You, They are designed that you can, and on the fabric that Riley Blake has done, they're shown, you know, they repeat, and the four of them are together. Mm -hmm. So you could do them all four in one sampler. Like if you're doing, I know some of the ladies in our stitch group like to stitch on 40 count, 36 count. It would oh. be neat to do all four of them in yeah. one sampler. That's small. Um, I'm doing mine on 32. My little eyes won't see. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My eyes do not see 36 count. So, but we've had some um, fun things come in. So this is Robin's quilt. I think we've shown it before. We probably haven't. Before it was quilted it. and bound. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and this is one of the collections by Minky Kim. I love, love this quilt. And then she used the, what did she use on the back? Oh yeah. The floral, Gorgeous floral, floral print. So pretty, and I love the little gingham binding. Mm -hmm. So that's fun. So that's new in the shop. We have new arrival are these fun. So these are little sew-in tags. So I gave one to Anna yesterday because she's going to be making another bag because she's so sweet to do that. <laughs> and so these are woven labels, mm -hmm. and they're double, so they're folded. Mm -hmm. But you can see here. And so she's going to sew that into the seam on her bag and it says thanks I made it but we have lots of fun ones we've got one that says handmade these sweet little daisy ones would be cute and a child seeing this says cut 
so, so press, press repeat. repeat. We have um, several different styles that say thanks, I made it. Yeah, I think this one came in a different color. Yeah, there's right? one that's pink, um, the pink and cream. Mm -hmm. um, there's Anyway, there's we've got a whole bunch of different ones. I think we've, I don't know, eight or um, ten different styles. But those are a fun new label. We They're called Sarah Hearts is the company that does these, and I just found her. She's um, I are they I from a, England? I think she's from England as well, yeah. Which is where I get the our fun needle minders. Yeah. And I found this supplier, and I just think they're fun. Something new. They are. Fun. Uh, we have the ones that say, Grandma loves you, Nanny loves you. These are just a little more contemporary. More, yeah, and, uh -huh. you know, more for anything, yeah. really. Yeah, so. they can be for clothing, for quilt, you know. They're fun if you put, if you haven't done this before, if you're making a quilt for someone, you can just sew these on the edge. You just sew it into the edge of your binding, you know, and so, it's just sewn in there. And you can even on the back, you could write. Yeah. So Gigi Timbles, she uses mm -hmm. um, stuff like that, um, tags like that uh -huh. in her quilts. And she's like, has found out that it's hard to, when you do hand uh -huh. uh, stitch binding, she it, she doesn't do that. She stitches the label part and then she does the hand then, binding. Then does the binding. Yeah. yeah. So, so, but just kind of fun. But, but yeah, they're fun. So not just for clothing, but for oh yeah, for your quilts, Anything. your bags. You know, if you've made a bag, why not have thanks? I made it because people are going to comment on your cute bag. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> well, you don't even have to say it. You just point it just... to the tag. The last thing I forgot oh. to show. Yeah, so, so we have the new kit. I forgot. Wild and Free is the fabric collection, and the this is the quilt. It's kind of hard to see because it's such soft colors, but there is a map panel in the kit, and it's beautiful. It's the state flowers, and Kathy's sewing this for us. This one, so it says Wild and Free, and it has each of the states represented in their flowers. What's Utah's flower? Utah's is a sago lily. Oh. Yeah. Or a sago lily. And you really only need to put like four blocks together. Yeah. It's just these four corner blocks. And then and then strip your borders. Your strip borders. And there's enough fabric in here that um, you can do a pillow as well. Oh. Um, oh. Um, I don't know if it shows it. No, I don't, I don't know. But it tell, it does give you the instructions that you can, um, you'll have, because you've got enough fabric to make eight blocks, eight of these star blocks. Oh, and so you put the And you need four together. in here, and then you can use four for a pillow. Oh, so, so it's a smaller yeah. pillow. Okay. Mm -hmm. But really pretty fabric collection. Um, just soft and different for yeah. a United States map, so. I feel like any soft color can be like, baby quilt gift yeah oh. it's just i just think it's beautiful so it'll be fun to see when that's done so we have those box kits in stock oh new arrival that is going fast let me tell you it's is amy smarts oh the um, port smell port smell port smell show it Sport. less however week. you say that it is it's gorgeous gorgeous <laughs> and i keep seeing so many quilts that would be like, like, oh, I'm like, we could do, oh, wait, wait. And Shelly's doing the quilt. I saw the patchwork duffel bag made, made of it. In that, oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Okay, yeah. now that's what Make I it want. To match my quilt. That's what I want. Do we have five inch stackers in Portsmouth? <sighs> I was saying, still? yes, we do. Okay. You, know, you might want to use the bigger one because I think they're three and a half inch squares. Yeah, I think they are too. But you can change but it. Still. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. That would be good. Anyway, it's my favorite new fabric collection. And apparently it's a lot of people's, so. Yeah. A girl came in yesterday and bought some yardage because she works for Riley Blake. And she's like, I had to come in and get this because Are the warehouse is I don't selling have... out of, of this collection. And so <laughs> so then I got online. I'm like, oh, do I need to hurry and order some more of this and this and this? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Anyway. But, so. um, and let's see. What else do we have to talk about? Uh, We've still, oh, we did open up a few more spaces for our wool um, applique oh, yes. club. Mm -hmm. That is the Little Women quilt that we're doing. And there are a few spaces. I um, opened up yesterday a few more. 
then that will be the end. So the okay. once, once this up. this little group fills up, then I'll that'll be maxed out just because getting the wools, making sure I need to like I just ordered seven bolts of black wool because I thought I cannot <laughs> get to the end of this and not have black yeah. wool for the last yes. two blocks or something. So I'm like, I need seven <laughs> bolts of black wool. So um and that was I already had two that came in the other day. So um, at that point, I'll just cap it off because I don't yeah. know that I can. I, I got to make sure I can get the exact wool for the whole series. So. You don't want the color difference. I don't yeah. want a different dye lot yeah. or different, no. you know, change in it. So, um, but that's been fun. We had some people asking, are you going to open up more? So we did. We have a lady from North Carolina the other day. She came in here, I think, for oh, yeah. her granddaughter. Oh. That's how like she's like, oh, can I still sign up? I yeah. think she also participate the... Santa, the tree, the turkey. Oh, and yeah. I think she might have. And then. And she must have liked wool applique, like which I love. I'm not doing this one, which is <laughs> hard for me because every time I'm, I was assembling the kits yesterday for the second block, and I'm like, I really want to make this. So I might take one of those spots away because I really do want to make it because I, I enjoy wool applique. Yeah. We'll um, see. Nicole's mm -hmm. doing it, so. <laughs> um, and that Shannon was going to be with us this morning, but she has pink eye. So. Oh, no. So she can't be on camera with us today. Bummer. Bummer. Yeah. But. I don't know what kind of flu this is. It seems really... It's the season for illnesses going around. It's pretty bad it? for Shannon, though. Like, I, yeah. It's pretty yeah. long. She's had period. some long... No. But hope she anyway. get better. Yeah. I hope you all are staying well. Yeah. My sister... So a day before yesterday, we were talking to her at night and we were asking her how the temperature was. Oh, it was 60 degrees today, beautiful, sunny, you know, it was so pretty. And we're like, oh, yeah, she's in Vegas. I'm like, oh. she sent me a Marco Polo yesterday to the sisters and she looking out her window and it was windy and it was snowing. And she's like, yeah, so much for 60 degrees. She's like, this is what we're getting today. I know, today, the weather, you know, it's different day to day it's mm -hmm. like yeah yeah and it's cold out there today and windy it is i yeah. left my house with wet hair and i was putting oh. the dogs outside and by the time i got into it the car dry. it was frozen oh no, frozen <laughs> not fun <laughs> not like good. touching it in like a crunch, crunch. <laughs> And then your neck is just so cold. <laughs> but springtime will be here before we know it. I know. Let's hope. Hopefully. So if anyone's interested in the cross stitch patterns, the piano forte and, and the other Jane Austen ones, they will not be out for probably another month, month and a half. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll have them out when the fabric arrives. So they'll all go together. So if you want them, you can just send us a message. We'll let you know when they're in stock. And then our cross stitch club is almost. Done. Yeah, I don't know if when this airs, it may oh, be sold oh, out because yeah. this morning when I looked, we were pretty close. Okay, to well, sold we're out. not talking to you. So, <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so for this week, um, I had a sew day on um, Saturday with my friend, and then I'm like, she sew clothes. Okay. Which I don't because uh -huh. I did that for four years. I'm done. You're with done it. with clothing sewing. Yeah. <laughs> it's so annoying. And then, so we spent the whole day. We basically spent six hours. She was looking for a pattern that she can sew for her baby. She has a baby boy coming. Aww. And then I'm just like, wow. I saw her patterns. I guess I'm inspiration. I'm like, man, all these baby things are so cute. So I'm like, I want to ask you guys where you get inspirations. Because sometimes I do when I hang out with my friends. Mm -hmm. But how do you have that? Are you just inspired when you're re you retreat and all the friends are so on? Well, and... you know, when you get with friends, they yeah. share stuff they've <laughs> seen. And yeah, I have two of my friends. They both like, sometimes they'll buy it and stuff for each other without even asking. Oh, really? Them. Yeah. They, they're kind they of know their so, Yeah, they you know, know they, what they like. And <laughs> yeah. it's like, they, we'll get together and she, one of them will say, by the way, I got you this. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, you know, you, there's friends you know well enough. Like, oh, yeah. I can pick something for Kathy. We just were Because I know what. Yeah, we're talking know. and I think they say they've been friends for 30 years oh, or wow. more. Awesome. So, yeah. So yeah, they know each other, but yeah. So through friends, Instagram, social yeah. media, you know, it's like I follow people who their designs appeal to me and mm -hmm. you see stuff. Yeah. And 
sometimes even just going like to art galleries website mm -hmm. uh, moda you know yeah. you you see the new fabric lines and usually they have new patterns and stuff that yeah. goes with that so it's yeah it's i everywhere. um i mean i'll get inspiration like pinterest or you know but they i can get down the rabbit hole in that mm -hmm. you know really really easy but um I know when I was working from home, I wasn't working in the store. Holly was managing the store, and I would, I worked from home, um, designing and doing the business end of it and such. But coming to the store and being in this environment, it's really, I had to do that sometimes just because that fueled my creativity. Yes. And I think working in an environment where there's these beautiful fabrics and you know just such a variety of things that. It's inspiring to me to see the fabric. Yeah. Come in. Another place, I just came back from a retreat and the room, in my room, the shower, that uh -huh. was my inspiration. I think <laughs> I'll get in the shower. Yeah. And they had one of those tiles that they're pretty much quilt blocks. And yeah. I can show you pictures to post later. But I'm like, I'm looking at it and like, oh, that, I want to do this. I want to do this. <laughs> So yep. I, I took some pictures of my tile in yeah. <laughs> the shower, the place we stayed. And I was like, so I'm looking forward yeah. to try a couple of the blocks mm -hmm. I saw in it. <laughs> so. And I mean, I think I used to, I used to scrapbook. Oh, so long ago. Yeah. Don't do that anymore. <laughs> um, but I would get inspiration for quilting yes. from the looking at those or, and from yeah. the papers and from the different designs people were doing and stuff like it crosses over and... I think in quilting, you can get inspiration for cross stitch. You can get in yeah. cross stitch. You can get inspiration for quilting. You know, it's, it can cross it, over. Yeah, it's in, intermingled. So. Um, but I get, I mean, all the time we'll have the employees will come and show me, hey, I saw this. Look at this picture. Mm -hmm. What do you think about this? What, you know? But, and sometimes just like you see a design and you like it mm -hmm. and, um, just by talking to somebody else you can see oh and we can do this or we can mm -hmm. do it just vocalizing it you exactly. can yeah it, uh, you come up with ideas just just hearing it uh -huh. not just seeing it but sometimes just hearing it it changes where it goes well that's the same mm -hmm. thing where, like sometimes if you're stuck on on a step of a pattern or something sometimes asking someone mm -hmm. and vocalizing it to them and this is what's not making sense and then you go and just by the time you then say you go, it oh no okay now like, i know yeah. what it, but it's, it's that yeah, yeah. interaction yeah. it's it's kind of weird but yeah. it's it's true I sometimes i feel happen. like it's so close to solving math problem when you're at school like you just talk to your friend and then mm -hmm. sometimes you make like, sense oh, to okay me. okay yeah. now that i get it now it's, yeah, yeah. Yep. but hearing it's different than reading it you know, yes. saying it out loud, your brain thinks differently than it does when it's just reading it. Yep. Just like for me, writing something down, I will remember it more Better than just, than you know, you can it. say something to me. And if I write it, um, I'm more likely to rem remember, even if yeah. I don't go back and look at the paper, the yeah. fact that I've written it down. Yeah. It files yeah. it different in my brain. But. And sometimes I feel like some people have mentioned they listen to podcasts uh -huh. they're like creating pro podcasts i feel like you both are i don't know do you like listen to music when you're creating do you i know sandy will have a show probably I'll, sometimes i have because emerald's been upstairs with me when I'm upstairs <laughs> working and sometimes i'll have just a show on just an old you know tv show you don't have to focus that i don't and i usually will have something that like i could watch seinfeld because I don't have to watch it. I, yeah, I can listen just, to it and I've seen it and I, you know, it's just kind of background, makes me laugh, makes me feel good, you know, an old sitcom or something, yeah. something I can do that. Um, I, I rarely, if ever, will put a movie on when I'm sewing or when I'm creating that I haven't seen before. Yeah. Because that, that distracts That distracts, yeah. I don't get the movie. I don't get my sewing. Yeah. I don't, you know, I'm yeah. like halfway there. Um, but depending on what I'm doing, like last night uh, I was upstairs working and I had been listening to different music throughout the day. My day was winding down and I thought, I, but I was trying to get finished. So I changed my playlist. You know, I was like, play George Winston, which is just piano, just relaxing. really very relaxing, calming. And I could just finish up what I needed to do, be calm at the end of the day and then turn it off and go home. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's music, but sometimes... Um, Especially when I'm designing, 
um, which I was yesterday. So yesterday I was, I designed the April bowl club. Oh, um, ready. <laughs> yeah. So I, yes, can you believe it's done? And I've ordered stuff for it already and Good. the chenilles and yeah. Um, I do have to tweak the, well, it's been the roll, mm -hmm. but I'm doing it different this time. So okay. Different. So I still have to tweak um, how that's going to be constructed, but, mm -hmm. um, but at least the design's done. So yeah. that takes, and so yesterday was just music in the background and just kind of focusing on. Mm. And for that, like some of my cross stitch, I will get designed. The inspiration for what I did was a vintage postcard, a vintage Easter postcard. Oh. And so I looked at that postcard and was like, oh, I like that, you know. And so uh -huh. I did my interpretation for the stamp of this old you kind of want to add it into your design mm -hmm. a little. Yeah, so it has my aesthetic, but it's it's based on a an old postcard. Yeah. So. How about Anna? Do you listen to anything? I usually creating? find a TV series uh -huh. and I just bin binge watch it, and yeah, that's what I do. On the retreats, I always bring our my Apple TV uh -huh. with us, and we have a collection of movies and yeah. now we, ha we have the Disney app, you know, and others. So we always like struggle, like, what should we watch now? And, <laughs> and like, again, you don't want a new movies. So my family yeah. always suggests new movies and I'm, I'm like, no, no, we, we can't, can't watch a that. new movie. It's gotta be, yeah. <laughs> so this time we came up with the idea, we were on the Disney app and we started like, put it in like searching movies and we started alphabetical. And from each letter, we'll pick a movie because, oh, you know, you have yeah. like so many movies with A's. So you have a choice and like, <laughs> okay, which one do we want from A? <laughs> yeah. So we watch the alphabet. Yeah. <laughs> and it's just like, good to have the background. It's just yeah. good to have, oh, yeah. you know. Yeah. yeah, we just need the noise because, mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes we talk, but most of the time we're into our projects yeah, and sewing. And, and I should just, watch one of my I should watch Pride and Prejudice. Yes. Oh, and I don't know if my mom's ever one. seen. I think I asked her the other day, have you ever seen Pride and Prejudice? No, she hasn't. And she hadn't. <gasps> so I, we should do that at night. Yeah. She and I should watch Pride and Prejudice. Oh, I said, I well, we'll watch one. the five-hour one, Mom. We'll watch the five-hour BBC one. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know. That's a version you would choose. And Well, I love them. I love, I love them both. Okay. I, love, I don't know how many. I just feel like there's so many different are. versions. But I like, love the PBS one that was like five hours. And then, I, but I love the big box, you know, the big yeah, the production with here and I, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I love that one too. So, but, yeah. and I was part of a Jane Austen book club once, and it was my cute neighbor, and she was way into Jane Austen, yeah, like so. way into, had all of her, you know, big versions of all the novels, oh, and, you know, just collecting yeah. them, and she. And she had dresses to dress up like the period while we were at book club, you know. Oops. And I was the girl was like, I really liked that movie. <laughs> yeah. And she's, I says, I don't like to read read them, but that was a really good movie. It's, and so that was you know, like written in old English kind of. A yeah, thing. and it's yeah, just so. it wasn't. And my sister Holly loves to read them. For reading them, just wasn't. It yeah. was work for me. Yeah. For some it's, reason. Even though I love the movies and I just love the feel of it and all that, but it wasn't, it was more work for me yeah, to read. It's... Um, and so, but when I told her, you know, that I wasn't a big fan of reading the novels, but I love the movies, she was like, oh, I mean, it was like, oh. <laughs> you know, she took her breath away that I would <laughs> book like that I, you know. <laughs> so I was always like, well, in the movie, I really liked that part, you know. <laughs> and there were those in the club. That were on my team. Yeah. But they never would like uh, we'll say it. They wouldn't <laughs> say it. But I knew they were there. So. I would understand. Because you know, reading English. And then you put the words into your picture. Yeah. And then that's a translation part. And the problem might be that I start I saw the Pride and Prejudice. I saw the movie. Before. And the BBC went and I just was in love with it. And yeah. so I got the book and then was trying to read the book and I was just it, it, yeah, it's different. My so. instant gratification brain oh. wasn't willing to put the work <laughs> in to finish in the novel. So. Yeah. There, in Taiwan, there is a fight about, do you read Harry Potter or do you watch Harry yeah. Potter? So, yeah. <laughs> and I have to say, I've That's, never done either. It's always... I've never watched Harry Potter. Or, or, I've never read oh, Harry wow. Potter. 
<laughs> I know. It wasn't, yeah. it, my friends were, again, in that neighborhood were really into it. My daughter just never was, and so we didn't. Yeah. You know. But. Well, I didn't really get with into it with the craze. Uh -huh. I, I actually read them out when the last book came out. And I usually like, I'm not a big reader. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it, but when I read and if I really get into the book, that's how I'm going to do. Exactly. And like, that's all I want to yeah, do. Yeah, my kids were neglected during that time yeah. and mm -hmm. I barely will put the book down so yep. I can feed them. And yeah. it's like, yeah. So, so, and I think that's part of the reason why I'm kind of, if I get into it, I'm kind of obsessed yeah. with it. So I don't do anything else. And <laughs> yeah. And that, my, that me as well. And so yes. I'm really into audiobooks yeah. because I can listen to them in the car. I can yeah, listen you to can them do at night. The I can teaching, but and... I can still do it. But if I get into reading, that's all I want to do. And that cuts into my sewing time. Yeah. Yep. So I multitask by listening to them. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. So if anyone wants to know some good audiobooks, I have some fun ones that I've listened to. So. That's very cool. But, but yeah. Anyway, okay. tell us in the comments, what is your go-to while you're creating? Do you like movies? Do you like audiobooks? TV shows? Um, give us some recommendations. Our people are always looking for something fun to watch. And yeah. I've mentioned before, Place to Call Home on Acorn Network or is a great binge. No. Oh, yeah. Speaking of that, did you find your mom a new show to watch? I have not found her a new one. So <laughs> we'll we'll do this by our job. Pride and Prejudice because she just loved a place to call home. Yeah. So, but we need she and I need to get something new. But at least she goes to bed at night now. Because I was going to bed. And I'm like, I'm going to bed. And she wouldn't oh, go to she sleep. Because she just had to keep watching it. Oh. You know, she was like, no, I have to see what's happening next. So, Sorry. <laughs> Lots of fun new things. Thank you for joining us for Table Talk. Mention or post a comment, share with a friend. Um, leave us. We'd love to hear what you think and what you'd like to see. And we will see you next week.